Scientists have developed a colour called Vanta Black, which absorbs 99.965% of all radiation on it. And it looks a bit like this. No, hardly any reflection at all you can see. Now, black body radiation is a quite big part of the AQA spec. Um, it doesn't get examined very often, but it's definitely worth learning about, and you might not find it in that much detail in revision guides. However, it's not nothing to be afraid of. Uh, let me show you what it's all about. So let's say I've got a uh, beaker of relatively hot water, uh, a bit hotter than the surroundings, and because it's hotter than its surroundings, it is emitting infrared radiation. That's a method of heat transfer it's, em it's emitting out of the beaker. Now, let's say, for example, you applied a heat source to it um, and you were going to see what would happen to the temperature. So it's giving off radiation and it's also absorbing it as well. So absorption of infrared radiation means taking in. Now, whether the temperature goes up or not depends on how much um, infrared it's absorbing. If the absorption is equal to the emission of the object, that means that the temperature is constant. That's called thermal equilibrium, just kind of like equilibrium of forces. Two things are equal. If, on the other hand, um, the absorption uh, was larger than the emission, then what would happen is that the temperature would increase. It's absorbing more heat than it's letting off, so the temperature, the kinetic energy of the particles will increase and the temperature will rise. If absorption is lower than emission, on the other hand, uh, the temperature will decrease because it's losing energy, so the kinetic energy of the particles will go down. Now, um, this sounds a bit uh, abstract, but it's basically what happens with global warming. If you imagine all the heat energy from the sun hitting the earth, um, as there's less been emitted uh, due to greenhouse gases, uh, what, ha what happens over time is that temperature increases because the earth is absorbing more than it's emitting. Now, what on earth is a black body and how does this relate to all this stuff? So a black body is essentially a hypothetical idea, a hypothetical object, and that is a perfect emitter and absorber of radiation. So by perfect, what that means is um, that it, every single um, uh, joule of energy it absorbs, um, it retains it. But then also, it will emit 100% as well. So we should know black is the best absorbing material. Um, you don't wear a black t-shirt on a hot day because you're going to get quite warm. Um, but a perfect black body uh, is one that absorbs 100% of the radiation. As well as that, it will re-emit, so not reflect, but re-emit 100% of that radiation. So the black, we should know, is the best emitter um, as well. Um, for a black body, that would mean it was emitting 100% of the radiation it absorbed. So, like I said before, um, it's a hypothetical uh, construct. There's no object on Earth that's a perfect black body, but it helps us make approximations in physics and calculations about temperatures of different objects. Now, the uh, last thing you need to know with black body radiation is um, what kind of wavelengths it uh, emits light, uh, sorry, it emits, um, and the intensity of those different wavelengths um, of radiation. So um, you will find, and you might find this in a revision guide or a textbook, um, that the intensity um, that different wavelengths emit looks a bit like this. Um, now, I'll go analyze this graph in a second. There's nothing to be afraid of. Wavelength we should know. Um, the wavelength of different EM waves just corresponds to a different part of the EM spectrum or different colors. Now, black bodies emit radiation at different intensities um, of at different wavelengths. So what that means is some is high, some are low. Now, you might notice from the graph here that actually the hotter curve, the red one here, has a peak at a lower or smaller wavelength. Now, a smaller or a lower wavelength um, is part somewhere towards the kind of gamma end of the EM spectrum. Um, but because it's visible here, we are talking about something that's towards the blue or violet end. Now, we should know this already because in chemistry, a blue Bunsen burner is hotter than a red Bunsen burner because it has a lower wavelength it's emitted at.